Hi, Jamie here from The Hedge Teacher. Let's take a look at fitness trends for 2018. If you're saying, I just don't have the time and I can't seem to make the time to get fit, and, but you need to sort it out, then you need to be aware of how this is affecting you and your body. But we know now how important it is to stay physically and mentally fit especially when it comes to being in business and either being an entrepreneur or an intrapreneur. After owning my own gym and my own health retreat, I've seen many, many different people from many walks of life. They arrive tired and worn out, but by the time they leave, well, there is, it's like a magical transformation. Although in some ways technology is, is making our life easier, is also causing a different type of stress than our parents and our grandparents went through. With this change, we find that we, we need to change our mindset about not only how we exercise, but also the, the time we spend doing it. So, let's talk about some of the new trends that are making an impact on our physical and mental well-being. First, it's important to distinguish between a trend and a fad. While a, a trend was defined as a general development or change in a situation or in the way that people are behaving, a fad was a fashion that is taken up with great enthusiasm but for a brief period of time. High intensity interval training or HIT is one of the most popular trends of the last 12 months. A HIT a training session involves bursts of near maximum effort, really hard work, typically about 20 to 40 seconds, followed by a period of low intensity recovery. The goal is to recover enough that you can go hard again during your next work period. If you're just starting out with this, you might have longer rest intervals or work intervals that are challenging but not at maximum effort. These generally last from 20 to 30 minutes and as you get fitter you will increase this time if you're able to. I can tell you from my experience you get a really really good workout with this training and it fits easily into your daily schedule. It is an incredibly efficient and effective way to get fit. Because of this it is recommended to train this way only three maximum four times a week. Live streaming classes, although not new, are on the increases. People, again, are protective of their time. The ability to not only participate in these at a gym, like in a spinning class, but now you can also train this way at home. I have a Concept2 rowing machine, and the online programs and trainings and meetups are growing more and more as this technology improves. Group training's popularity is rapidly increasing. This is a workout for five or more people led by an instructor. Designed to be motivational and effective for people of different fitness levels. This could be anything from gym classes to outdoor exercise sessions. This is one thing that's really popular in the area where I live. And there are plenty of benefits of group fitness classes. They can be a great way to try a new workout or, or to mix up a routine. There's also the social aspect. Classes can be a fun way to sweat it out with friends or to meet new people. Plus, when you sign up for a class, you're committing to your workout, which you can help you stay on track with your routine. This last 12 months has been a huge year for boxing. There's something about being able to punch a bag that makes you feel so good. I think there's going to be a huge trend towards this as more women and men can participate in this fitness workout in the home or at the gym. Activity trackers, smart watches, heart rate monitors are more popular now than ever. 
if you're into seeing your workouts by the numbers, wearable technology can give you the motivation and the interesting feedback about how you move. Many estimate your steps that you take through the day, or your sleep, standing time, calories burned, and time spent working out. Also available now are the motive rings and smart eyeglasses. Who knows, maybe soon you'll have your own personal AI instructor. Exercising with your pets is certainly on the increase. Whether you're going for a run with Bart or doing a yoga session with your cat, exercising with animals will play a big part for many people. Being able to combine your two loves, exercise and your best friend is a great market and it's good both for the people and for the animals. Moving on the same time we have family fitness classes. Making time to train with your young ones is a fantastic way to get fit and build family ties. A lot of exercises can be modified to enhance this experience and many parents say they didn't realize how physically challenging it could be and enjoyable at the same time. And I heard this saying a long time ago, but a family that trains together stays together. Strength training has been around for a long time. It is an extremely important element of any fitness routine. Strength training helps prevent the age-related decline of muscle mass, keeps your bones and heart healthy, and helps prevent pain and injury in everyday life. Muscle mass also plays a role in maintaining a healthy metabolism. Remember, it won't drastically increase the amount of fat you burn. Yoga. While it has been here for many years, we credit yogurt's consistent popularity with being refreshed and reinvented every year. There is no shortage of styles to choose from, and each one comes in and out of popularity with new instructors and lessons. Devoted practitioners credit yogurt with mental clarity and stress management, and is also a great workout for improving flexibility and balance which are important to an overall fitness routine. Depending on the style, it can also help build muscle strength and endurance. There's also a growing market for fitness programs that are tailored to older adults. After all, staying active is a great way for people to maintain bone and muscle mass with age in addition to the overall health benefits. There are more specific classes and fitness programs designed for retired people, looking to make fitness a priority, especially as we live longer and the cost of health care increase year after year. We also know that people who exercise regularly tend to make more money than those who don't. And that sounds like a good reason to me, as well as all the other benefits that come with exercise and training. So, there you have it. A little bit of information about the trends of today, of 2018, for keeping fit and healthy in these ever exciting and changing times. If you are unsure of your physical capabilities, please consult your doctor before starting any exercise program. Please, don't keep this a secret. Like, subscribe and share this with your friends and family. Yes, we have to hedge our own future, to look after ourselves and then be able to help and teach others. Until next time, in wealth and wellness, this is Jamie at The Hedge Teacher.